what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson 4 here bringing you guys game number seven of my man ultimate team season two and today's game is going to be you know pretty much of a good test for my defense to sign in two players extra i didn't show one of them i believe one of them is mike adams and um you know this guy this guy's 5 11 uh, i think he's a lot better than stevie brown he actually has more stats than stevie brown so that's why i picked him up as you can see there's my uh previous pickup Demontre Moore and this is the one that didn't show Mike Adams 85 overall um, hopefully he's a good pickup you know for sure he's gonna surprise us all in this game and how well he did you know he does have a little bit of speed here and there and um, you know I expect a lot from Mike Adams uh, another thing to be on the lookout guys is Jamichael Finley and also Patterson the guy you know probably has like the best special ability ever I mean he, he does have a little bit of a you know special treatment going on because there was this one pass where it could have been picked off and you know it showed there that Patterson somehow has this one special ability that allows him to catch the ball it's pretty weird it's kind of a, like a little glitch going on there so anyways I'm the Reds my opponents are whites do not get it confused guys since we're both the 49ers I'm the one playing as home which is the red jerseys I'm the one with the red jerseys and right away in the first drive of my opponent interception by Brandon Bonner incredible interception the guy is on the league for the MVP of season two I'll be doing a video about that guys my MVP candidates of, the, of season two because I know there has been tons of moments where my players have stand out and uh, actually turned the game around which led me into going 8 and 0 so yeah it's been an incredible season overall and I can't believe that I went 8 and 0 after going one and I mean how much did I go the last season season one I went like with uh, four and six last season and now I went eight and zero. so it's pretty much incredible an incredible change so yeah and another interception and this time it's by Dante Wetner going all the way <laughs> incredible I mean my defense is responding pretty well that's a good coverage right there Mike Adams Dante Wetner Brandon Browner and Rogers Cromartie I mean, not Rogers Cromartie, Antonio, uh, Antonio Cromartie, not Rogers. Sorry, I forgot these two guys kind of, are kind of the same. Uh, also, same height, so, you know, they're pretty much kind of the same there. Antonio Cromartie also, so I might have my own Legion of Boom right here, you know. Uh, it's been an incredible season for them. They have been catching a lot of interceptions this whole season. And right there, the Montre Moore could have had a sack, but he, you know, got broken tackle by Jay Cutler. But overall, I got the sack at the end uh, by Linville Joseph. And this is what I understand. Why did this guy decide to spike the ball on a 4th and 26? I don't get it. I'm guessing he's giving up right there and then. He should have quit by that moment because, god damn, he can't do anything. And then right away going into offense, Doug Martin doing a hell of a job running the ball. Also an MVP candidate. Uh, you guys saw my previous game. He ran out of a, you know, of a tackle for a loss and actually broke it for 40 yards, 50 yards. You guys should go back into game number 7 and watch that game. It's an incredible run by Doug Martin. I'll probably do a highlight video about season two uh, later on after the playoffs. So um, yeah, I expect that video to be coming out uh, pretty soon. So going back into my uh, gameplay, yeah, I got intercepted right there and then. I knew I shouldn't have thrown it down the middle. I should have just kept running, you know, just to run them the clock, the guy can't do anything. So he's back in offense, nothing to worry about. And then he got lucky right there. I knew I should have pressed or something because the guy wasn't throwing streaks. So um, yeah, that was my fault right there. Going to the next play, first and ten. Where he's gonna throw at? Oh, picked off yet again by my man, six foot four, MVP candidate, Brandon Browner. I mean, how many picks does this guy have? I believe he has like eight in total for season two. I mean, I want you guys to go back into my old videos. I mean, not my old videos, like uh, into the playlist of season two. And watch every single game and tell me how many games does this guy, Brandon Browner, have intercepted a ball at. And count the total and this guy, you know, this is an incredible corner. Brandon Browner, even though he's slow, he does have good coverage skills. So anyways, I won the game. The guy ended up rage quitting, apparently. Uh, he, I, he, I bet he turned off his PS4 because he couldn't do shit on offense. I mean, literally. He got intercepted twice by Brandon Browner and the other one by Dante Winner and took it all the way. So that is it for now guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game, 8-0, next game will be the divisional playoff game. You guys can't wait for it, subscribe for more, the video is going to come out pretty soon. And if you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe for more also, you know, it's gonna, there's going to be a lot more details coming up about who I pick up and also solo challenges, so don't miss out. So I'll see you guys later, and enjoy your day.